All right, this is Ote Mountain, take three. This is gonna be the final, final route that we're gonna be doing. I've got some other guys to come with me so that if something goes wrong, we can help each other out. So this is the third time I've been on this trail. First time was with the 2000 watt motor, Fremor 1.13. Second time was with the 220 watt motor. Sorry, the 2200 watt motor with Fremor 1.0. And now I've got the 2200 watt motor with Fremor 2.0. It'll be interesting to see how it uh, affects uh, battery life. Last time I made it to the top with 80% uh, battery and under power right now. I'm at 72. I'm sure that'll change once I get to the top and when I'm not currently riding. Um, wheel is a lot quieter. Torque is still there. Uh, I really like how stiff the pedals are now. It makes the ride a little bit. Um, a little bit more stiffer. Hurts my feet a little bit more, but that's expected because the pedals aren't as floaty. Absolute beautiful day though. Gonna try to do the final final loop. The final course. We've got an 18 XL and then two 1800 watt hour MSXs. We'll see how well they do on this long ride. Overheat! 81 degrees. 81 degrees, wow, mine's at 52. I have been pushing it pretty hard though, to be fair. <laughs> yeah, you have been riding hard. But first with the Nikola and now with the MSX. Well, the Nikola's like somewhat always fall 65, yes. but... it was 60. This is all me. You guys can go up ahead, I can catch up. Oh, I'm sure you will. Where's uh, Mark? He should be right there. He was right behind me. I wonder if he overheated as well. See, maybe I should get him super proud. So we had both MSXs overheat. <laughs> We're about two miles in? Yeah, that's what my thing was telling me. Okay, so two miles in, both the MSXs overheated within 100 feet of each other. Yeah. The XL is at 52. Yeah, we're at 2.1 miles right now. Elevation. Uh, we should know. have climbed at least a thousand feet. Let's see what we did here. 900, 800 at least. But see, I went up Woodson. That's like 1,400 or something, I think. Yeah, but it's not as long. We would have been to the top already. It's, it's true. It's two miles. <laughs> that's right. That's right. It was, and it was getting hot too. Miles. Right about two miles. Interesting. Yeah. Well, and these are both 100 volt. 100 volt, yeah. And I haven't taken my 100 volt up here yet. Yeah. I wonder how it would fare. Interesting. Another thing I forgot to mention, so I followed Marty's advice and got the uh, Pebble Watch, and I am enjoying it so far. Still trying to figure out how to mount it onto a fabric wrist guard, um, but this seems to work for now. So both NSX is overheated. We've got Nick up front who's hot dogging it up the mountain. Zen Rider behind me is riding more conservative like I am. They both overheated at pretty much the same time, but obviously they were in two different positions. We're almost to the top of the steep portion though.
All right, so another thing that we're testing on this ride is this uh, intercom speaker system. So we've got a microphone that we put in right there, and then we've got speakers in there. And we've got it set up to now uh, the people who have it can talk to each other. So it's really nice. You can hook up to eight people, yep. and um, if we get separated, we can still talk to each other. So we might do a little range test as we go say, today. Hey, look out for that bump. Or... Yep. It's nice to communicate to others, and then, uh, I mean, earlier today when we overheated, we got separated, so that would have been nice to say, hey guys, we got overheated. Oh. Super nice system right now, we'll keep on testing it and see uh, how it works. Start recording. Alright, so we made it to the fork in the road, so now we're entering the loop. Uh, my battery is at 79%, everyone else is at around 50 60 so we might be calling an uber towards the end we've got 25 ish miles to go but luckily we've got six miles of downhill so hopefully we can uh, regain that So we just got down from the mountain. We came that way and we're going to turn and go this way past the shooting range and uh, towards the wall. Um, but there's this fork uh, in the road. So if you see the sign that says guns, don't go that way. You wanna stay right. This has been an awesome ride so far. Um, the MSX has gained a little bit of battery on the way down. I'm now at 86% battery, the Kingsung 18XL. Um, so we'll see. We might have to do some walking or modify this. But yeah, that 100 volt really sucks up the battery, especially on that steep initial climb. Oh, there's the sign. So we just came out of Doghouse Junction. That's how you go to civilization, and we're not going to go that way. We're going to continue this way towards the border wall. So, we're pretty close. 51% battery at the bottom of the mountain. 69 for that one, and I'm at... I'm at uh, 85, 86. So basically the same. Yep. Didn't really lose much going down. Springtime in Southern California. I guess it's technically still winter. <laughs> January. This absolutely beautiful ride. All this fresh long grass. All right, here's the fork in the road. Either which way will take us to the same location, so it doesn't matter. Turn on. All right, so we're at the point where the two roads split. They follow each other for a little bit, but one goes up and the other one goes down. And this is where we split ways. But the roads do come back together, so we're going to be testing out the range of the intercoms. So this way is a fairly decently paved road. It is uphill quite a bit. The other way followed a, more of a, a ravine be interesting to see what he reports back. We've lost connection pretty quickly, probably because we've got a big hill in between us. So the uh, intercom doesn't really work through mountains, which I guess is expected. It'd be interesting to see if we maintain the line of sight, how well it went. All right, so we found an, a fence that was locked. It clearly said, do not pass this fence. And uh, 
There was a worker here who opened up the fence, but as soon as he opened up the fence, a border patrol car came down, wanted to make sure that the worker was indeed a worker, and then he told us you basically have to turn around uh, because it's not safe. So unfortunately, we can't ride along the wall. We're gonna try to meet up with uh, the other rider. Hopefully he turns around because there's a fence on the other route as well. But we're gonna have to call it quits for now and head on back. Hopefully we'll be able to make it. We should though. So sad that we can't continue the ride though. I guess it's due to safety reasons more than anything. So that's a bummer, but I'll see what I can do. I'd still like to make this a group ride. We just may not go this way, we'll try to go a different way. So here's the lower path, the path that uh, Zen Rider took. It definitely is uh, not as much climbing, but I guess uh, both these are fenced off at the end. So I'm hoping to uh, catch him and bring him back, I'm sure. He's already turned around, but we'll see. I'm the one with the most battery, so I'm doing the search party. Ooh. But uh, just to compare the two roads, this one is that dirt road that we've been on the whole time, but that upper road is actually paved. It's pretty nice. So we'll see if I can uh, catch Zen Rider. Oh, lots of washboards. All right, since we got turned around by the border patrol, due to unsafe conditions, we've now uh, recongregated, and we're gonna take a different way back because there's no way we're making it back up that mountain with the battery levels of the uh, NSXs. So this road should connect to an actual highway we'll take that back and it's going to stay at this elevation more or less we're not going to have to climb over 3,000 feet we've seen lots of cars this is definitely the more popular way if you're going to drive in I had some great views of this valley that borders Mexico it's amazing I think I still want to keep that in the ride but it all depends, um, but as of the exploring that we've done, there is no way to make a loop out of Ote Mountain. It has to be there and back. Which is sad, but gotta obey the rules. Well, we made it back to the cars. We had to hop on uh, the street for a while and there, were, there was no shoulder for a lot of it. But we made it back. The, that MSX had 10, 12% battery left. The Kingsong 18XL had 60% battery left. And the, your MSX had how much? 42. 42%. And our total mileage was 29 and a half miles. Well, we found out that you cannot make this a loop, so it really is the impossible loop. Thanks for joining us.